Hey, it's old Bob. How are you? I was just listening to church home, and uh, Judah wasn't there. And I was like, I don't want to hear that big guy. No, I've heard the big guy before. And uh, I love the big guy. The big guy is nice. I don't even know his name, which is embarrassing, because at one time I did know his name, but it shows you how long since I've been over there at church home. And I got to write a letter about that. But the uh, title of his word was Gravity, Gravity. And he told a story which just immediately blew me away. Boom, how they do that? They go, boom. I mean, drop the mic, boom. It's exactly what I'm going through right now in this time of my life. People panicking, people going out of their minds, people it's a word called berserk, going berserk. People just maniacally exaggerating and, and going nuts. And, and what's the reason for all this excitement and the exaggeration and the going berserk and the, the insanity? What's the reason for all that? Is there a reason? Well, he told the story about how uh, there had been a house <coughs> just near him that had been empty for uh, several months. And one night, he was there with his family, and out of nowhere, a silhouette. Lights on, lights off. And then, a silhouette. Lights on, lights off. And he was like, <laughs> he went and told his family, and they said, Ah, uh, come on, shucks, man. There ain't nobody next door. They ain't nobody next door. They, they, ain't, they, they ain't nobody been there for months, man. Come on, what you talking about? <laughs> so he said, no, no, I saw, I saw. So finally the family goes over and looks, and they, <laughs> the lights on, like, and they see the figure, and they create it in their mind that this is a, a mass murderer from Wisconsin, and he, why do I always pick on Wisconsin? I don't know. This sounds fun. When you grew up in California, family's been here since 19 and 3, uh, you know, saying Wisconsin sounds like, it's far away. <laughs> Not quite New York, but it's far away. And it's strange, and it's unusual, and it's like excitingly different. So, <coughs> they get their, they get their weapons together, and here's a guy, he's doing his drum routine. He's just doing it out there on the, out in the middle of nowhere on the side of the road. It's so cool. And you get to, you get, you know, and then he, he just sits there and, uh, and people want to stop and hear the drum routine. They can say, that's really cool. I like that. That's very cool. It has a, cool, a great drum setup. I mean, it's a good to drum setup. A little commercial for the drum set guy. So, how does it have to do with me? Well, as you know, and if you want to know more, give me a call. 1 713 8954 Green at ATT.net on the Twitter, Mr. Bob at Bob Bob8954. And of course, you're watching Bob's Daily Deal here on YouTube for the next minute or two. It's going to be a quick one today because I'm just between Jack in the Box and uh, my first stop. So I've got it just a minute or two, but I wanted to, to put this in the can. I wanted to, to seal this up. I wanted to express myself and say to the Lord that, Lord, I trust you. Lord, I trust you. Lord, I trust you. All things work together for good. And Judah was just saying a few minutes ago <clears throat> in the last message of 2017 how our words and our attitude make all the difference. It's not our, it's not our circumstances that, that affect our attitude. It's our attitude that affect our circumstances. I think that's what he said, something like that. And I uh, have it written down right here, you see? Yeah, I got it all written down here. So I'm at this gate here, and out in Media, Media Valley Estates, and I got to put the code in here. Here we go. So boom, 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 and bam, it's open. I'm ready to go. So I'm getting into the... So we're going to look at this more and more in the next few segments of Bob's Daily Deal. We're going to look at this. Why are we panicking? What is the purpose of the panic? What is the purpose of his title of his speech? If you go to church home, go to messages, look up gravity, gravity, and you'll hear the real deal there of my, my big brother. Uh, you know, and he and I are big. And he, he understands when I walk into a room 
if I, 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 I have to have a wide berth. I have to have a wide space. I can't just, you know, just like a little snake, just slimmer through a little hole. I gotta have room, baby. I gotta have space. And, uh, you know, if I see uh, people that are smaller than me around me, I get a little bit nervous because I'm thinking, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill those people. They're gonna, they're gonna get squished under my big size 15, 60 shoe. It's, it's, they're, they're gonna run into my, my stomach. One time, Matthew Barnett, uh, my wonderful pastor, Matthew Barnett, Ansys Temple, he was like, gave me a little slug in the stomach. You know, he, he liked to play. And he, wow, that's solid. <laughs> I wasn't even ready for him. You know, so, he, he, so I'm a big guy and I, I can cause uh, I can cause trouble if I make a mistake. I'm very, very careful. I'm very aware. So is the guy at the church home. We're aware of our size. We're aware of the fact that we need to have a little extra space. He was talking about, uh, you know, going onto an airplane and how he was really panicky about not getting the middle seat, not getting the middle seat, not getting the middle seat, not getting the middle seat. His sweat, his, uh, his, uh, uh, I thought, Right on, baby. Come on, pick a high one right up here. That's exactly the way I feel sometimes. I just get so like worked up. And then he gets to the thing, he gets to the seat there, and you know what he finds? He finds that it's a different configuration. For his particular flight and this particular plane, he didn't have to sit in the middle. The middle seat, as they called it, was really not a middle seat at all. It was, well, there was two middle seats right in the middle. And then, then you know, he, so he was in the middle. But the middle for him was not, uh, not like, you know, between, on the side, on either side, the left or the right. And then, you know, you sit in the middle and you're squeezed in like a little sardine. And if you, if you breathe, uh, you know, if you sweat, if you pass a little, uh, you know, you're, then you're, you know. No, he ended up, he was on the aisle with then one other seat they had like this two rows two seats two seats that went down the middle of the I was like ah oh. so today in Jesus name let's not panic shall we let's not panic today in Jesus name let's let's chill today in Jesus name let's let's let God's glory his grace his mercy his kindness let's let the Lord fill the house let's be sure that we chill. Let's be sure that we rest. Let's be sure that we By the way, I'm going to have to show you something here. Okay. That hat, that hat's all full of food. And I even got gum. So Somebody asked me, they said, Bob, during these days when you're, when you're being a sojourner, and I've been a sojourner for a couple years now, yeah, about three years maybe, and, and during this sojourning time, I don't have a home, and I, I sold Casa del Green, and uh, you know, the Lord provided me with a beautiful, beautiful, the most beautiful woman you've ever seen in your life. She's, when you get to meet Kenny Jeanette, you're gonna love her. She's, she's a godly, good, Oh, I just found my speaker. I was where'd my speaker go? Here it is. <laughs> oh my my my! So, uh, when you meet Ken and Jeanette, you're gonna be just so thrilled. And and I, it dawned on me because Judah was talking about God's timing and God's provision and how God worked things out. And and I thought, yeah, you know, during the time that that I was you know uh, asked to go out into the desert, uh, during that time, I met and married my, my wife. And now we're expecting our, our first baby, Bethany Rose. And um, in the middle of the night last night, Don and my email was not working. And uh, so I ended up, I called tech support. 2 a.m., this is, this is the real deal. And I actually got a really nice gal who wasn't from offshore, nothing wrong with offshore, <laughs> but you know, someone who, who understood and didn't give me a bunch of runaround. It wasn't, you know. <coughs> and um, I fixed my email. And we're going to talk more about this uh, real soon. 
but let's trust God today. Let's trust God. Trust God. The middle seed is going to be. Trust God. The end of that story was, was that it was a real estate person giving a home tour at a neighbor's house. You know, the name, the empty house. It was, it was a real estate person. It wasn't a burglar. It wasn't a mass murderer. It was just a real simple explanation. And I think it goes back to what I've been saying for a long time. Stop panicking. Yes, your initial reaction might be, oh my God, it's a murderer. Well, check it out before you get too excited. You know, find out, you know, hi, how's it going, neighbor? You know, uh, this house is empty. What are you doing? Oh, I'm the real estate person. I'm showing the house. So, oh, okay. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, good to see you, folks. That would have made all the difference in that guy's story. He came out with he came out with a gun, and he was, and the and the people didn't buy the house because they were like, these people are crazy. Because <laughs> they were so panicked, you know. And he was all sweating, hyperventilating about his airline seat, and it's okay. And people look at my circumstance, and they go, oh my god, oh my god. He, 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 he's a turquoise, a turquoise, he's a turquoise, oh my lands. Uh, oh, 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 he, well, guess what? Yeah, I'm a turquoise. So what? I, I do what I'm supposed to do. I fulfill my obligations and I move on. But some people hear turquoise and they lose their mustard. They go berserk. They put way more weight on being, you know, a yellow mustard than, you know. <laughs> All right, I got to go. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.